All right. Finally, the elusive target has been released. We get to kill Sean Bean. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I've been playing the game for a while now. Uh, pretty much unlocked a lot of the mastery for all the levels. So, I got a lot of weapons, got a, st a lot of starting locations and all that stuff. So, maybe that will help. I don't know. So, let's get into it. Good morning, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself, or rig the room to your advantage, and leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. To be entirely honest, this one's a bit of an embarrassment. Please, make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. All right. Wow. All right. So multiple points of entry, one chance, one death. All right. One window. <laughs> yeah. So just like the elusive targets from the first game, first season, first Hitman 2016, you only have one shot. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Um, all right. I can smuggle an item in. And like I said, I've got... 20 out of 20 level on the mastery, so I've got all the locations unlocked. And uh, it looks like he's going to be in the uh, little center here. So I would have to pick stuff like here, reception, uh, the parking lot. Hmm. I don't know where this is. Reception might be nice. So I'm going to choose, uh, again, all the uh, mastery, finally. It took me a couple of days to get through all the levels, even the, the previous uh, Hitman 2016 levels, to get all these weapons. Um, I might go with a um, poison, because uh, it's silent, obviously. you want I want to try to get silent assassin, so I'll go with a poison. But there is a sniper opportunity, so um, let's not do the fiber wire. And um, let's do a, a lockpick. Lockpicks are always useful. And a suitcase for the sniper rifle, which um, it's going to take a while to load here. Hold on. Just a minute. I got all these sniper rifles unlocked. Uh, I want to use the ghost because it's uh, subsonic, very quiet. But it's, you know, reduced damage. It's okay. Um, but this is pretty good as well, you know. Higher accuracy. But I'll go with the ghost. So yeah, and uh, starting location. Hopefully I can get something. Oh, there's only one. Uh, alrighty then. <laughs> I will use that to the best of my ability. And uh, yeah, you can you can choose a suit. You can go as the clown suit. <laughs> No, let's try to let's try to actually do this properly. So I'm gonna go with a signature suit, and uh, okay. So yeah, this is it. There's only one shot. You know, you only get one chance. I only get one chance. And um, I'm going in this level blind. I haven't seen uh, anything else. Alrighty, let's do it. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you must begin the contract before the countdown expires. If you die, you may not retry. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, like I said, one chance. Uh, actually, hold on. Any method, any disguise. Uh, wow, there's a lot of information here. I can... Well, let's, um, let's read all... Well, let's... Let me screen cap this so I can read this later. Because, again, there's only one... One chance to, um... To see this, right? Unless you don't play it. They might do another... IO might do another thing where... If you didn't play the missions... Uh, you get to... Do them. But everyone else who's played them or failed them... Can't, so... So, yeah, you know. Good stuff. Document all this stuff, you know? It's cool. And it's all there on the video. I can scrub through that. A anyways. Let's play. That's loading. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's it's an elusive target. You only get one chance. Oh, man. I failed a lot of these before. I've, I've done a few. Uh, but, yeah, the, the feeling when you fail one of these is, is really bad, you know? It's like you're trying your best, but then at the same time, it's you mess up, and you can't do it again. Like I said, I only rarely. Forty-seven. Your target is already inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take your time with this one. All right, take my time. Yeah, it's like so. Like I said, Dave you. Ready, our informant is huh. waiting for you in the reception area. What was if that? you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. Oh, I can, uh, there's an opportunity. Actually, hold on. Uh, what I was saying earlier, you know, they, you can't play these again. Unless you didn't, you know, unless you didn't play them in the first place. Okay, let me, uh, check out this thing. Get the absolution suit through targets. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, Silent Assassin. Okay. Uh, assassin. Sorry, I said Assassin. No, whatever. Target one. Oh, yeah, okay. So target Miami. Oh, man. If I can get Silent Assassin, it'd be so good. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go talk to this guy. You must be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay, so like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. Uh, but, uh, you can't go in dressed like that. You'll need to look like an engineer, or one of the lab guys, or, or a guard, I guess. I'll work something out. Good. The ICA has struck a deal with Dave Reddy, one of the two men your target has come to Miami to meet with. Reddy got in some trouble with the Moreno cartel, and the ICA has promised to clear it up for him, if he helps us get close to Mark Faber. Reddy is currently waiting for you in the reception area of the Bayside Center. I'll wait for you here. Don't take there's a... Oh, well, there's a guy in here. Oh. Usually there's a suit there, so, um... I might have to bypass this guy. Come on, don't turn around. Oh, he's gonna turn around. Damn, Damn it. Usually, yeah, there's a suit here. I remember there's a... Should I take his or should I just take that suit? I don't want to. I don't want to leave any bodies behind. You know what? Because there's a suit right here. Let me do this. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, but, 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 but. I'm just nobody. Don't worry about me. I'm just gonna crawl out of this window. <laughs> All right. Okay. How's this? Where'd you find that? that uh, never mind. I don't want to know. Let's go. Fabe is already expecting us up there. Can't wait to meet him. Hmm. All right. Let me just walk. There's a walk button now, but it's kind of useless because these guys kind of walk faster than you. You can't run. This oh. guy's with me. The camera hey, up there. Dude, a 
amazing no, job. This year is closed when we enter the room, all right? I get you in, that's all. And then your people take care of my problem. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Solid. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Getting involved with people like the Morenos, it, it, it was stupid. I thought I could make some quick cash, you know? Buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean for the summer. Stupid! The Moreno cartel is the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could have used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so uh, let's put on our game faces. Yeah, keep it real. I'm... So, we finally meet. You don't quite look like I expected. I'm Mark Faber. Mr. Faber! What an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy, Special Acquisition Gatekeeper, working with you on this job. <laughs> I'd show you my break book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh, uh, mm. I see. Before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've prepped an extensive briefing to help us sync up on the subject that needs to be uh, <laughs> consulted with. I think it'll provide you with a full 360. Good. Let's proceed. Hey, not a problem, Mark. Not a problem at all. All right. Well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov, a relative of your boss's former partner. 10-4. For the last six months, Sukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging, and it turns out He's publishing a book about the secret beginning of Kronstadt Industries. <laughs> Completely ridiculous effort. But the rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Sukov fella, he's enjoying the limelight. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Huh. You've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media attention. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary, I prefer public consultations. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Well, then this is your bluebird, my friend. You know what? <laughs> Let's try a small exercise. You, suppose you were sent to kill me. <laughs> we're in this meeting together. You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. How would you kill me? What's uh, the plan? Um. Uh, You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast acting poison. A medic. About five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Follow you to the bathroom. Drown you. Terrible accident. Mm. Gruesome. But I survived worse than that. What else? <laughs> okay. Uh. Knife on the table over there. Quick throw knife through the head hmm. you'd be dead before you hit the floor good <laughs> nice that's more like it but very risky hmm. you'd have a hard time escaping the room final bit what else ledge uh uh press cause e. a small distraction lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below you look strong enough but there are bushes down there they break the fall. I'd walk away without a single broken bone, but I would love to see you try that. Hmm. I'll just head over to check on what that you guy is working on. You carry on. Okay. Well hey, then. You make sure Sierra wins, okay? Hi, it's me. Well, then you act like that. You reviewed the plans. It's very public because the target is public. I want a big audience for this one. We hire extras as props, telling them it's for a TV show and cameras for effect. Getting their assassin in place is all down to social engineering, and that's my headache, not yours. Just make sure the replacement cadaver is where I indicated, all right? Once Sukov's gone up in smoke, I'll reveal myself to the would-be assassin, get him in the 
the elevator, and he'll take his shot once upstairs. And that's your cue. Good. I've got a ton of things to prepare at my end today. Sir, I'll talk I'm to you later. You don't have the right clearance. Sorry. Oh, man. Can I come in here? Please. 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 Yes. Okay. Good. Oh, look. What is this? Oh, I can't pick that up. Mark Faber. I wish I could say I knew all about you, but Dave's been uncharacteristically secretive. You work in weapons development, too? More on the practical application side of things, if you understand. Oh, uh, uh, of course. V v very nice. Well, um, I looked at the diagrams you sent. I haven't had that much time to work on the prototypes, but I, I do have something early to show you. Lovely. Let's have a look. So, the designs were interesting. Oh, did, did you do them yourself, I wonder? <laughs> they were drawn up to my specifications, yes. Ah, so that explains the untraditional nature of the work. I like things to be custom. You could say that spectacle is part of my signature. Very interesting, Mr. Faber. Right, let's have a look at this. I need it to be an exact replica of Zukov's favorite fountain pen. And it has to... Huh? No explosive element. What the hell is this? What am I supposed to do with Oh my god, thing? no. Stab the man. We had some difficulty accommodating <clears throat> the, the, the exact design requirements. <laughs> No, the, the pen's actually woven from the, the finest boron nitrate nanotubing with a tensile strength surpassing 33,000 megapascals. I'm sure that will impress your engineering friends, but that hardly makes it explosive. I specifically requested an explosive pen capable of vaporizing the upper part of a man's torso. Hmm. Well, uh, coming by a volatile compound that would be able to achieve that is uh, extremely hard. A distilled sample of Mr. Knox's nitro booster didn't even come close. Frankly, mm. it, it seems a, a little excessive, Mr. Faber. Of course, that's the whole point. There isn't much spectacle in waiting for the man to accidentally stab himself in the eye with your ridiculous boron nitrate pen on live television, is there? I, uh, oh, I suppose not. Disappointing. Well, done is done. I suppose I'll have to try to figure out how to use this thing now. Are you going to go anywhere else? You're going somewhere. Oh no, I want to hear you talk about the android. This is Robert Knox's new brainchild. Chilling. Can't really see it replacing humans for a long time. But I will say, I admire his showmanship. But you, my friend, lack what all machines lack. Spontaneity. The ability to think freely on your feet. And, perhaps more important than anything, the ability to feel fear, whether we like it or not. The fear of death is what drives us, makes us human. Once we lose that, well, we're nothing more than empty shells drifting through life, waiting to finally Paris is top of the line, Mr. Faber. The most advanced robotic system in the world. The AI is world class too. You know, Mr. Knox designed this to make us all jobless in 20 years. Yeah, I saw his talk on artificial intelligence last year. I'm more of a flesh and blood kind of guy than he is, I think. But we could all become indestructible. I certainly hope not. We'd all be up to the job then. Come on, where are you guys going? Come back inside this room, okay. <clears throat> the bomb oh. doesn't actually have to be that powerful. But it is extremely important the explosive element is flashy enough. It's not misdirection if people aren't looking at it. This isn't exactly a discreet container. But I suppose if we add balloons to the event, spray paint this to look like a helium canister, I think can make this work. The most ingenious thing about the active ingredient in Mr. Knox's octane booster is the versatility. 
we can create multiple compounds from this, effectively shaping its use based on what we add to it. Oh, sir. Well, for instance, if you were to require a, a flashier explosion, the NOx burns quite quickly and doesn't produce long-lasting flames, but if you were to add a, an adhesive or, or, or even a magnesium solution to the compound, things would change dramatically. After all, it was originally designed to produce colored flames and smoke for drag racing events. Hmm, that is very useful indeed. I have to say, Mr. Yu, I like what I'm seeing here. Oh, thank you, Mr. Faber. Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? I'll be back. Keep everything warm for me, will you? Come on, go somewhere else. Aha, he's on the move. It's me. I just sent you the location for the next gig. I need you. Sorry, sir. I can't let you through, sir. Not no ears. No human casualties. I'll be pirating the dome downstairs. So we need to make sure the place doesn't burn down before we're ready for it. There's also an elevator in the back, which I need to be able to control by a remote. No. No, the main event takes place on the top floor. Morgan's assured me we can lure anyone we need up there quite easily. We'll detonate the entire floor using a new type of explosive I'm hoping to secure today. No, the agent should live. We need the witness. We'll detonate once he fires off the first shot. Lucky hit on a nearby gas canister. Far-fetched, sure. They fell for the exploding fire extinguisher a few years ago. Sure, it'll work. Right. I need to finish with an intel brief here, then I'll fly out to meet you. Oh no, does he have to leave the level? Alright, this will be pretty bad. I need to make my move right, soon. Let's carry on. So, we looked into renting the entire building. Short answer is, it can be done, but we'd need to scrap a couple of shell corps together in the process. Hmm. Can't have anything linking back to Knox, or I'll be out of a job. And I know you don't want that. So that makes it slightly more complicated, as there are, you know, a lot of moving parts included in this. But it's totally achievable. I'm on the case, fighting down hard on this to get what you need. All right? All right! Very well. It seems like we've got matching intelligence on most of this so far. I honestly expected some deeper insight into Sukov. Something about his preferences, his character, habits. Let's see if we can find some of those, shall we? I think I'll just head over to that new fella and have a look at the equipment. I'll come back. Sure. Yeah, I'll just hang here. Okay, so it looks like he's on a loop, which is pretty cool. Uh, I still have that poison down there, so I'm going to go try and grab that. Let's just uh, hope that I don't get spotted by anybody. <laughs> And there are also other points on the map that I can check out. Uh, since I've got the sniper rifle in the briefcase, maybe I might want to snipe the guy or something. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do that to me. All right, so the poison is... Oh, is it here? I'll pick this baby up. There we go. Keep that in my inventory. And uh, I think I know of a place where I can get a better disguise. Uh, I don't have... Like, Key card. Sanguine CEO, Victor Novikov. Hold on, wait a minute. Wasn't it over here? Oh, I don't have a key card. Huh. That's right. There's a door here that leads to uh, a room, like a little locker room on the side, right here, that you can get a scientist uniform. Right there, but I don't have a key card. I wonder if I can go in through parking. Let me see. There's a uh, thing here. And there's cameras. I'll figure out how to get rid of those cameras later. Oh, I need a key card. Uh, yeah, that's not important. 
Um, I don't know about the sniping thing. Maybe I could... Because uh, he goes to that room, right? Uh, but I want Silent Assassin. That's what I'm going for. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, that's not, I don't think that's a Silent Assassin kill if the body is found, so... I mean, there is one way that I think would work. Hey, man. Yeah, I love what you do. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, okay. There's one way I think that would work, and it, that is to take the scientist's, uh, that head scientist guy's, um, whatchamacallit, uh, outfit. Because I can go in that room and not be suspicious, right? I can't go into the main laboratory. Oh, there's this guy right here. Oh, please. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought they were like guarding the hallway there. <laughs> I'm scared. See, I can't go in this hallway. But I can go inside here. I fully expect this product to win Mr. Knox and the team a Nobel Prize. Its versatility rivals that of dynamite. With some work, this could be the future of Yeah, they're just talking about the um You know, I'm just uh, blending in here. Yeah, that's, that's right. Go back. So I can go in here. Where is that scientist dude? I need to find him. The problem is his bodyguards. Okay, there's this guy. Come on. There we go. Yes, yes. Come in here. Come in here so I can get your clothes. Yes, that's right. That's right. You know. I need to find some time to work on that flashbang robot. This is perfect fun. distraction right tool. Here. If I could open. Uh, come on. I need to clear this area. Take his clothes. Come on, come on, there we go. Okay, there we go. Grab this. Making my moves now. Okay, there's a guy inside here that I can take out. Close the door, quick, quick, close it, close it, please. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, alright, that's good, that's good, that's good. Alright. Need to grab this. Dump the body in here. I need to make my moves fast. Because they could come back at any minute. Let me take this guy out. Please don't come here. Please don't come here. Please don't come here. Come on. There we go. Come on. Grab the body. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me dump this body in here. And I need to get rid of the guards somehow. I don't think they're like weapons. Uh, no, actually, that would be a bad idea. You know what? Oh, I'm going to pick these up. Give me these. Give me these. Uh, I need... I need things. I need things to happen. Can I go upstairs wearing this thing? Oh. Oh no. Oh no, he's coming. Uh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, drop, 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 drop the, the suitcase. Oh. It's me again. Oh no, his bodyguards. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Best of favor. There you are. Perhaps if we dilute the ink inside the pen with VX poison or something along those lines, 
Something that made the victim experience extreme pain or undergo violent seizures, perhaps. It would need to look good on camera. Mm. Creative thinking, Mr. Faber. I see how you've managed to get where you are today. How is something like this going to kill anyone? All it takes is a little imagination and a lot of patience. So, how would one fit a flamethrower on you? Maybe a small one. Jet of fire from the mouth? <laughs> You need to step back a few steps, sir. <laughs> what is that all about? Robots, huh? Can't say I'm a big fan of the prospect of an android future. I may only be flesh and blood, but I've done all right for myself so far. Huh. Well, I could have talked to him, but I didn't because I wasn't fast enough on the button. Sprinkler system might do. Oh, Maybe a neighboring man. building. A small incendiary device and a timer. Let it burn for a few minutes and then activate the sprinklers. <laughs> Where's the fun in taking out someone with this thing? In the right hands, anything can be a deadly weapon. Okay, I think I've seen enough for now. Need to think for a while. I'll be back later. Hmm. Can I go upstairs with this thing? With this disguise? I'm gonna go upstairs. I need to shut down the cameras anyway, so... Yeah. See, I'm getting recorded by security cameras. It's pretty bad. That's right. Move on, people. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, he's gonna stand up. Yep, 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 no, no, that's okay. Yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, checking out the security cameras here. Uh, all right, good. Uh, I am good. What is that? Striker? Huh. Wow. Whoa, that guy could have uh, easily spotted me. That's that's pretty bad. Oh, oh snap! Oh. What's in here? What is this? Oh, it's it's a picture. <laughs> is there anything else though? I'm checking the table here. Nothing. I gotta go. Okay. Well, that's um, that's pretty good. There's a picture. Obviously, if you play the the actual game, you'll know that that Android thing. Uses pictures to uh, yeah, to kill. Oh yeah, he's talking about the soda. <laughs> so yeah, it uses a, a picture. You had to scan in a picture for it to like you know target the um, target the stuff. Oh man, just these guards though. these guns let's take this one for me take this one for me I'll take this one and uh I, can I close this door seriously this that bothers me mm. can I I think that's an accident kill so um so yeah I think that would work. Oh man, I really want to get Silent Assassin on this. I don't know if it's not, but that's what I'm gonna do. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. That's my uh, thing. Okay, here we go. This is it. Magnesium. 
them and create a sparkly light show. Damn. Oh no, they found the body. Oh, please let that be son assassin. Hey, my doggy's inside the house. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm making a lot of noise. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Come on. At least I didn't die. At least I didn't die. <laughs> gotta get out, gotta get out. Sorry for the noise, my dogs are inside the house, so. <laughs> yep, they're making some trouble out there. Better check up on them, but I'm focused on this right now, so uh, come on. Yes! Alright. Let's see if that silent assassin, please. I hope that was Silent Assassin. I think that was Silent Assassin? Yes! Alright. I gotta close the door because just making a lot of noise out there I know but yeah silent assassin all right so that was a silent assassin kill um, let me check out the score here ba -ba -ba. never spotted okay good yeah so yeah all right that was why I wanted to stab him with a pen but uh, you know too many bodyguards I would have to take them out as well, and uh, that's not Silent Assassin. That would be a non-target kill, <laughs> and that would be bad. Oh, yes. So I got an explosive pen, which is pretty cool, and uh, hopefully it's not uh, illegal during a frisk, so you can use that. Uh, what's next? Oh, I got this one with gloves, okay. And I got the Terminus suit from uh, Hitman Absolution? Yeah, following escape from a burning hotel. Yep, so. Well, there you go. Elusive target number one, Sean Bean, has been taken out. It's really good. Oh. Uh, okay, that was uh, not that bad, especially since I unlocked all the um, the stuff from the, um, the mastery. See, you can see 20, 20 out of 20, 20 out of 20. Took me a couple days. Just doing the, uh, just grinding out the mission stories, but yeah, so, you know, I have all these locations, all these places. Oh, I could have started here, but, oh yeah, there was only one uh, starting location. So, yeah, I mean, you know, that was kind of easy since I, I already knew the layout of the level. Um, oh, I'm so glad I erased those, um, those, uh, surveillance, uh, tapes, because, uh, that would have, uh, affected my silent assassin yeah so oh man that was fun I I love those uh, elusive targets but I sometimes hate them as well because I often fail <laughs> so yeah actually let me check uh, here we go elusive targets so it looks like uh, it says 15 should be more Five. Okay, wait, hold on. Complete three elusive targets. Nine, twelve, fifteen. Okay, and then if you do five silent assassins, you get the winter suit. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna try to do silent assassins. And then once once I reach five silent assassins, I'm just like I don't care anymore. <laughs> you know. See, I got that. Okay, that is pretty cool. All right, so that is elusive target number one done.